Hey, it's Peter Reed Miller from On Sports Photography with Peter Reed Miller. Today, I'm going to do a critique of images that people have sent me. Uh, going forward, please feel free to send me some images, uh, attach them as a JPEG to an email to peter at peterreedmiller.com. And so I will, from time to time, grab a bunch of them together and make a critique. So we're going to start out with a few images that I've, I've pulled together today. There's nothing wrong to say about this. This is a hell of a picture, a great picture. Uh, really nicely done, focus. Um, where should his arm and the ball be? I like it, I like it just fine the way it is. Maybe somebody would say they want it cocked back, but I'd say this is a really excellent picture, very, very nicely done. Uh, your depth of field, your shallow depth of field makes what is probably a very busy background go away. Uh, great sharpness, the whole deal. Nice job. Ah, softball. Softball. Softball gives you a lot of pictures. Softball players are very enthusiastic. Uh, this is a good one. This is a really good one. Um, you know, I've got a lot of faces. I've got eyes right in there. Um, I think, again, this is a real nice job. I hope I come up on some that I can say something about, but this is, this is great. This is the way to shoot softball, to get that, that jubilation. That's what that game is all about. Okay, lacrosse. Um, first of all, and this is a common mistake, I think this shot was taken from a standing position and I think it would be better if it was taken from a kneeling position. Uh, you, just, you're, you just get the feeling you're looking down on these guys. I know they're low to the ground because they're running, but uh, I think that you really need to be low on this. Um, it's, and lacrosse is a tough sport because you've got the stick. You've always got to get the stick in. So this is a pretty good one for that. Um, it's not a lot of, of real action. It's just one guy cradling the ball, one guy defending him. But it's nicely done. It's clean. Again, background's very clean, uh, which I like. But again, try and get down. Try and get low. Okay. Uh, very nice football picture. Right? Perfect moment. Ball on the hands, he's, he's leaping out. Um, ref in the background, I'd like to see him a little more out of focus. I mean, this is a 135 millimeter lens, so you're gonna have, you're gonna have people, uh, your background's gonna be a little more in focus than it would be, but it's an excellent picture. He's diving for the ball, diving catch, um, can't beat that. Okay. Um, well, I've said it before and I'll say it again, every football play ends in a tackle. And this is what's happening here. This guy's getting tackled, he's going down. Um, there are way too many people in the picture. Uh, probably could use a crop at the very least, like kind of like this maybe. Maybe you can just cut that guy. I don't like to cut people, but uh, in this case, we want to bring the center of attention. Oh, come on. In any case, I would take a little more off the bottom, too. Uh, but all in all, it's really not a picture. And the fact that he's wearing a dark uniform and the light is down on him, it's high school football light, light does not help at all. Uh, but there, there had to be a... On this picture, um, this may be the right picture since we just destroyed the picture. Mm -hmm. uh, if you bring that crop line up, this may be the time to start talking about the fact that, you know, you know not only is it not a great picture, but, you know, the horizon... The, well, the horizon's straight in this one, I think. All right, well. Well, um. Here, let's on. Let's clear the crop for a minute. Uh. Yeah, it's a little off, but I mean that. That doesn't, in this picture, it doesn't bother me that much. Okay. Um, there's enough stuff that bothers me <laughs> otherwise, but. Okay, uh, I'll just start again on this picture. Um, well, I've said it uh, before and I'll say it again. Every play in football ends in a tackle. And this play is ending. It's clearly past the moment. Uh, it also could use a crop. We've got way too many uh, extraneous people in it. Uh, let's, I don't like to cut people's limbs, but let's take it out a little bit here. But still, here, what, your eye goes to the center, and what does the eye see in the center? Not much. It's dark, his face is down, he's got a dark jersey, high school football lighting. 
just doesn't really work out. Okay, now this looks like it was really cropped a lot, but um, no, that is on the zoom. Uh, let's go zoom to here. Yeah, this is really too pixelated, I think. Um, it just, they just pulled too much out of it. I mean, you've got, you shot it at a uh, 165 millimeter lens. You've got actually good background. I like the coach, I like the, the team, but when you look into it, I don't know how much more there was to this picture, but it's just really pixelated there. Um, but it's good expression, good action, good background. Uh, I would probably have cut right about here to get rid of that guy, uh, that security guard in red, who's like doing doing nothing, or even if you cut like that, maybe. I don't know, he's kind of in there. But again, uh, good effort, but again, you just pulled it up too far. Okay. <laughs> I like a picture that makes me smile, and this makes me smile. It's like, what do you want? <laughs> this is good. Uh, again, you can probably crop it a little bit. I'm not gonna do it on every one, but you just have extraneous space here that you don't need. and. Um, the more you bring it in, the faster the eye goes to the, the great expressions on the faces. So take a little crop, but it's a nice moment, well, well captured. Uh, jump ball, um, or a block shot, actually a block shot, very nice, peak action. Um, good shot, looks again a little pixelated, it's a 2500 ISO with an Nikon D5, so it should be good. Maybe it's just my screen, but this is an excellent moment of a, of a shot being blocked. Very good. Um, where's the next frame? Where's the next frame? Where's the frame where the ball falls into his hands? That's what I'm always, I always say. This is not bad. The ball is about as far away as it can be and not be totally extraneous. Uh, the background uh, actually works because of this guy, the, this coach who's like staring right at it. So there's a lot of stuff to like about this picture. Um, I would just rather ha have the ball coming in somewhere, boom, somewhere closer. Well, this is a scene setter. It's nice, it's nice in that sense. He's obviously, he's running for a touchdown, but what's weird is I guess that arm looks like it's coming from this guy, but of course it's not because the white team is scoring, but it's actually coming from someone else. It's sort of an unfortunate alignment. The other thing is again, Standing up should be kneeling down. You have a much different perspective if you've been kneeling. I've been trying to figure out what sport this is. Um, it looks sort of like indoor lacrosse, but not because there's another picture coming up. Where this, so I don't quite know what this, this sport is, but this is actually a pretty good action picture. He's got his feet off the ground. He's got the stick in there. Um, you know, I like the action. I like the action a lot. I wish I knew what sport it was. Uh, again, probably do some cropping over here for sure, because that guy doesn't do anything. And uh, maybe you leave this guy in because he's, he kind of, his eyes are pointing toward, towards the uh, center of the action. Uh, okay, here it is again. Um, it's obviously played in some foreign country, and I don't know what fat pipe means. Um, this is not as much of a picture. I mean, yes, he's got his eyes, uh, uh, the guy in the middle, number 34, has got his eyes on the ball, but the other guy's turned away. This guy's a back. It doesn't work uh, uh, anywhere near as well. Okay, well, I thought we had another one there. Uh, rock climbing picture. Uh, I like it, but I see way too much other stuff. The picture is right here. Maybe give him somewhere to go, but you know, let's get rid of all that crap back there. Yeah, that's your picture right there. Much more, um, much uh, gives you the feeling that he's climbing, that it's high, all that, uh, without all the vegetation around there. But a uh, nice shot, nice for being hopefully up on the top and not climbing ahead of him. Okay, yeah. Here we go from what I think is the same weird sport. And so the goalie doesn't have a stick, but it's not handball. I don't know. It, yeah, that's a good moment. That's a good moment. Obviously, the goalie saving, making a save, 
and you got a face. Um, if only we knew what sport it was, we'd, we'd be happy. But um, mm -hmm. uh, good job on that. Good job. Okay, let's see. Actually, is there a caption information on here? Okay, it's Ruth and Goober, Sport Cup, Mark. Unihockey. Unihockey, floorball. Okay, I'll leave it at that. All right, um, let's go on. We got a few more over here. Okay, this is really not a picture to speak of. I mean, I, okay, the one thing it's got, it's got the ball in it. It's got the ball in it, but it's it's it just doesn't. He's in the shadow. He's in the sun. The ball is like here, but nobody's making a play on it because I don't know. The third baseman isn't anywhere around. He's not even in the picture. He, I guess he was playing for them to pull. Actually, it looks like the ball is going foul, to, to tell the truth. But but not really. You know, even if you did crop it, if you did crop it a little bit. Uh, it still doesn't make much of a picture because the guy in the foreground is out of is kind of out of focus. So, yeah, he is. Um, just not not really there. Um, this is almost funny, but it's not. And a little kid's football can be funny, uh, but this is this is really not. Again, not much of a picture. Um, he's the the guy number three with the ball is kind of facing away. The other guys, you got no expressions. And you got, you know, as happens in youth football, a lot of times people standing around. Well, okay, you got, you needed to have this foot in and not have all this stuff back there. Which means, again, you need, especially with youth sports, they're not tall, you've got to get down, you've got to get low. Otherwise, you're really looking down at them. And that's what's happening here. And again, the foot's cut off. Um, so it's not really, really there. OK, this took me a while to see. But I see this guy is, is it's a close play at first. Uh, but really, with the dark jersey against the stands, uh, he takes a while. It takes a while to, to find what is the key element of the picture. Also, the coach is hurting you. The first base coach hurts you because you don't have a clean shot of him. So I would say, again, this doesn't work. And, of course, without saying it, it needs some cropping. Way too much stuff in there. But it still doesn't really help it because it's just, again, not quite, not quite there. All right, well, the ball. Just because the ball's in a picture doesn't mean it's a great picture. So here's the baseball up here. His back. He's out of focus. There's a player there I can't even see. Um, not again, and I'm not even going to bother to crop it because there, there's this this picture just does not work. All you've got is a ball, and and that's not with a baseball. That's not really what you need. Um, okay, bat on ball. Good bat on ball right there. Oops, uh, but. Uh, no face, wrong side, and the wrong side for the for this kind of hitter. Um, it's, it's barely any head. So again, you got one thing, but it's not a picture. Um, you know, again, this is a little after the fact. His face is down. Um, your exposure, you need to bring this up exposure-wise because they're wearing black, and this face almost disappears down here. Um, again, it could use a little bit of a crop. Um, no. Okay, this is a picture of a jockey. There's a couple in here. He's looking away. You don't have his feet. There's really nothing that, that makes this picture uh, compelling. This picture is a little better, but it, it's so static. It's like a portrait of a jockey. Um, it's sharp, but I would like to have seen his, his foot, the rest of his boot. Um, this is nice. This is nice, but you can get rid of a lot. You can get rid of all that, all those empty uh, gates. And there you go. That's, that's much better. You can come in a little bit closer here, because that's the last thing that you really see there. Bring it up a little bit. And it is nice. It's a nice picture. Too bad you didn't have more horses, but that's, that's horse racing. 
but uh, good effort there. Nice on the blur, uh, always something we all try to do at horse racing. Um, I wish it's clearly a little past. I really wish it was sort of straight on so I wasn't feeling that I'm looking at the jockey's backs that I would see the little profile of the, of the face. Uh, pretty good football picture. I mean, uh, obviously it helped, the splash helps, um, but I'm not sure that this guy, I don't know, I guess he does. Yeah, it's off balance without him. Yeah, this is not bad. I like the face. I like his, his eyes are going right to the defender. There's a lot of stuff splashing up. So it's, it's, uh, it's not bad. It's pretty nice. Uh, very good thinking. Very nice. I don't know how you got this angle, where, where you had to be to get it. Um, it's indoors or out. It looks like it's outdoors, but maybe not. But um, it, it works very well for me. I like it. It's a thinking outside of the box, so to speak. Thinking outside of the lanes. Um, like this shot. Yeah. Um, okay, Little League Baseball. He's got his eyes closed. The second baseman or the third, whoever's tagging him out, he's got his eyes closed. That's, that's um, unfortunate. Because uh, otherwise it's kind of cool. He's up in the air. The other player's up in the air. But uh, the closed eyes take away a lot. Good volleyball. Uh, volleyball backgrounds, beach volleyball, very tough. There's always a lot of crap around. Um, but this is a good moment, very good moment here. I like this a lot. This is thinking about something different, making a different kind of a picture, using the weird crappy lights and the silhouette and the dark sky. I think this is very nicely done. Very nice. Uh, volleyball again. Um, it's about as good as you can get in terms of backgrounds because there's not that much in there. They both have contact on the ball. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, you know, yeah, you got the American flag in there. I'm a big believer in having the American flag in pictures, but not as sort of a random element. Because uh, someone serving from behind doesn't really do it for me. Um, but good placement of the flag. Um, well, it's a great expression. Whether or not people really want to see a big old dribble coming out of his mouth is something else. I don't know. I don't know. I do like the expression. I don't have any sense of what he's really doing, though, what sport he's playing or anything like that. And I don't know what all this is over here. Um, but it's kind of like, you know, do you like your spit pictures or not? Um, more like that would be better. But again, I, I'm kind of, I need a little more context for it. Uh, okay, I think this is a, um, do you like this or do you like this? Do you like this or do you like this? This, this. I think it would depend on the layout, but I think I really like this, the full circle, better than this. Because now you're just cropping and I know the full uh, mound is there, but um, I like to see it. I think this is a prettier picture. I like the shadow, too. Excellent soccer picture, excellent. So many soccer pictures, people are looking at the ground, people are looking the wrong way, this or that, there's not enough action, this is excellent. Got a little tiny bit, you were at a 640th, you should have been at a 1250th or something, or 1600th, because you get a little tiny motion blur, but I forgive it, because it's a really nice shot, really nice. <laughs> I... This looks like a bunch of really unhappy people out on a kind of a gray day. I, I mean, it's a sailing picture, but it really, nobody's doing anything. There's no expression. You don't see a lot of faces. Uh, I don't get a sense. I don't see the whole boat. Uh, sailboats are tough because they got long masts and they, you know, you can't cut the mast off, but somebody has. So I don't think this picture does really nothing for me. Okay, swimming picture. Uh, this is either probably the breaststroke, maybe the butterfly, but he's got to have some hands or some arms. He's got to have something besides just the head coming out because that way it looks like he's just sort of 
treading water. So I want to feel that he's breaststroking or he's butterflying. You know, I want to feel something there that, that I don't here. Uh, okay, this is one we already saw. So I don't know how it got in that group. All right, uh, we'll skip that and we'll go to this. Um, great expression, but I, I wish I had some arms and some hands or something. I mean, I wish I had more of him. It's just like this random head screaming. So I, I need a little bit more of a picture here. It's a nice slam. Uh, you cut off his back foot, which is unfortunate. If you had that room, you could have moved over. You don't need all this space on this side. You could actually, you know, you should come, come in like this, but you need that foot. Um, it's good. It's a good tennis picture in that his eyes are right on the ball, and the ball is right there. Um, and your background is sort of by nature clean because they, they, that's the way it is in tennis. Um, at the same time, I don't get a feeling of much intensity there. I get a feeling that he's just kind of rallying, that he's really not going for it. <laughs> Trying to figure out what happened here. I guess this is... Uh, this is what you call blocking the plate, uh, really blocking the plate. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that uh, play. But it's good. It's good. It's unique. Um, backgrounds the backgrounds, the 300 millimeter lens, but you're at f6.3. You have a 300. You probably have, well, I don't know what 300 you had, but hopefully you've got a wider aperture than 6.3 because that uh, background is more in focus than I'd like to see it. Now maybe it's some kind of a crazy zoom, that five, six, six, three, something like that. Um, but if it's not, if it's an F4 or even, even a 2.8, I would hope that you would shoot it like that wider. Um, but otherwise, it's an amazing piece of action. I think honestly, um, you could crop it right here, so you wouldn't have that distracting. Uh, see this, you wouldn't have that distraction of the light uh, dugout top there. Interesting shot. Okay, hockey, hockey collision. What a surprise. Well, you got a good expression there. Good expression um, on the number 11. Um, puck's a little ways away. Is it a picture? Is it a, do we leave the puck in? Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe we don't because the puck isn't really a viable part of this. So we just go like this and you get that collision feeling. Wrestling. Okay, it's really not in focus. You're at 6400 ISO. I, I, I kind of do like the way everybody's watching it, but it's not really sharp uh, in the foreground. So that, that's, that's, sorry. That's a problem there. Um, I mean, in a sense, I got all these guys here. Everybody's attention is if only this is sharp. And also, again, wrestling, they're down on the ground. You got to be lower. Uh, this is a bad, this is, uh, we've mentioned horizons in the past. This horizon is terrible. I mean, if you're going to send this in, how long is it going to take you to just straighten the horizon? I mean, Well, you don't have a lot of room down here. That's the only problem. Let's bring it up. There. Straighten your horizon, really help you on this. But again, it's kind of like a, a lot of people are out of focus. Yes, this guy's catching the ball, but he's got his back to you. So again, it's not a really outstanding picture. The, the rep is walking away. You don't get him out of there. This guy's just standing there. Just doesn't have that much going on for it. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, nah, you know, I'm not big on these big watermarks. I think it's very distracting, the picture. But it's sort of a cool coming out. But again, I'd like to see a full face. He's just kind of looking down. Um, well, it's good on him. If you're doing an AP images, you want a picture of everybody, you want 55. But his relationship to the quarterback, quarterback's not doing anything. 
So it's really a picture of 55 if I could crop it, but I don't think I can, but I, I would because that's what, where the picture is. And here, um, way too many people in, very dark in the center, which again, I know high school lighting probably, but, um, and again, it's a tackle. It's over, the play's over. Where, where was the part where he was running with the ball? Okay, a little better, but he's released the ball. So now it's not a sack. It's not gonna be a sack. It's not a, a disruption or anything. He's already thrown the ball, so th this moment is passed. Okay, I think we got a few more. Um, uh, yeah, there's some strange stuff in here, but we'll just go through a few more. There we go. Um, I like this. I like this. I like the receiver, although I wish he had his hands up. But I like him in the foreground, the blocking. Could have taken a little off on this end, but I, I think this is a nice football picture. And again, straight in the horizon. Um, which is going to be a little tough to keep that guy's foot in there, but yeah, it's going to be it's going to be hard the way this is cropped. But it needs to be straight. You can't really. Why would you send in a picture without a straight horizon in it? Um, that's laziness, I guess. Okay. Um, don't know what sport. It looks like football. Must be football practice. Um, with a rugby cap on and a mouthpiece. Um, it's good. He's off the ground. He's making the catch. You got a lot of odd stuff in the background. And again, the horizon is not straight. Um, I think with this, you could straighten it like that. Yeah, bring that out a little bit. It's not hard to do. I mean, in any, whatever you, this is photo mechanic, if you're using Photoshop, whatever. It's not hard to straighten the horizon. Um, well, number 19 is excited, but I'm not sure. And 99 is excited. So I guess this is post breaking up a pass. Oh, I see. The guy, the guy who's tackled his way over there. Uh, you know, that's a pretty good juke picture. Again, you got a mile of stuff over here you don't need. Um, but I, and this guy just walking with his face takes a little bit away. But it's 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 not bad as a jube picture jubilation. Um, okay, soccer in the mud. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I like the the goalie, but the two guys standing behind him. It's kind of like, eh, you know, what are what's what are they doing there? Uh, well, this is a nice uh, portrait um, in the rain. The background's pretty far out of focus. Uh, he's got a great expression, but it's a portrait. It's not, not an action picture. Okay, we don't know what that is. Uh, try and send your pictures as JPEGs because you can see these other formats don't, don't read. Uh, very nice football picture. Very nice. Uh, well cropped. Uh, you know, you, what's in the background is in the background. You can't do much about the photographer in the background, but this is excellent. Um, I mean, you could probably get really fancy and just sort of crop it like that almost. Like that. And then, well, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. But, but yeah, it's a really good picture. Forehand, when two players both have their hands on the ball, that's a good picture. Okay, um, rugby, yeah, and you know what? The person who shot this is down low because I know these players aren't that tall and I'm looking, this is the angle you should be looking at. I, I hope people get the, the sense of the difference between shooting from standing up and down, especially on the younger, smaller players and being down on the ground. This is very nice, 200 millimeters, F4, background's out of focus, uh, it's a good shot. Good shot. Uh, rodeo, yeah. Um, again, this is good. Uh, I'm not an aficionado of rodeo. I don't know when, the, but the, the fact that he's flying through the air and he's got the uh, he's got the cow, the bull, whatever calf. He's got his arms around his head. Uh, that's all good. It's all good. It's a nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, oh, it's a golf shot. Oh, sorry, just nodded out for a minute. Um, 
Yeah, it's a golf shot. He's coming out of the trap. There's a little sand, um, but it's pretty much, you know, not too, not really exciting. And again, you got, you can, you could really take it down to this and have a little bit of this. All this stuff over here is kind of meaningless. You can even bring it into here. Um, okay. Uh, no faces, really hard to see. He's on the ground, he's been tackled, and um, it's not super sharp. So, not much else to say on that. Uh, okay, this is good. good picture of the running back, good face. Uh, you don't need all that over there. Uh, I'd like to see his legs. Um, if I could, but you know, you've got people behind him. I like to see the top of his head, but people run at you, it gets tight. So, um, you know, but you got it sharp. You see an eye, even with the reflection on the helmet, you see his face. So that's good. Um, well, Is this good? I'm not sure. Um, again, cycling is a tough thing to shoot because you don't know you've got the bike and everything, but I'm not sure that the, a lot of white stuff coming out of his or her mouth is, her, I guess, mouth is, is really what I want to see in a picture. And there's nothing else that really, you know, you've cut it in a weird place, you've cut the feet off, so. Uh, a little flag football there. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice, you know, he's making the catch, the guy's diving at him. It's not bad. Well, it's kind of generic quarterback's throwing. Uh, he's getting a little rush, but the rusher doesn't really look like he's that interested in getting to him. Um, so while technically it's fine, it's sharp, um, I don't see the real moment here. Good running back, solo portrait. Great for you GF crew guys. Anybody like that? Okay. It's a catch. Um, this one really can use a crop. And I know, high school football, it's tough. It's tough. The lighting is tough. But I think you crop it like this. You get rid of that guy. You got that. You still have this guy. You still have the ref. But it's a touchdown catch. So um, in, the, in and of itself, if you brighten it up a little bit, um, this is ISO 8,000, mm -hmm. but it's a 1250th. Maybe you go to 10,000. Maybe you just bring it up in, in uh, Photoshop. Um, another pretty good one. Uh, again, he's getting tackled, but he's still upright. This guy's coming after him. Just the problem is that the real point of the picture is way over on this side, and I don't see how you can cut this guy at all, so it just didn't really, didn't really fall that well for you. Um, coulda, shoulda, great shot. Too bad about number four being in the foreground. Um, but it's a great shot, it's a great moment. Good, good volleyball. Focus right in there, she's sharp, her eyes on the ball. That's nice. Uh, field hockey. Um, just wish the ball wasn't so far away. You know, there's this whole thing of getting the ball in the picture, but it just, God, I just wish it was a foot closer, which was around here somewhere. But obviously, she's taking a shot. She just tore up a bunch of turf, turf bugs, I think they're called. And, um, you know, it's good in a lot of respects, this especially. But with this ball out here, you have so much empty space, that kind of wasted space. Uh, you know, pretty good field hockey, pretty good. Um, you know, the, the thing is, soccer, field hockey, all these sports on the youth level and the younger level, even college, they, their eyes are always on the ball, on the ground. So it's hard to get a good, a good face there, but this is good. This is not good. This is crop poorly, it's dark, it's just not really happening here. I know what it is, I know they're lining up against a, a corner shot, but I should see their legs, I should see something more. I shouldn't just see him standing here like this. 
excellent hockey. Whenever you get somebody flying in hockey, that's good. That's good, even with the extra sticks in there. It's, it's a good shot. Can't beat that. Reception right at you, face, everything. And he even blocks out the guy who's behind him. It would be very distracting if he didn't have his hand right in front of his face. So that's good. Uh, he's been tackled. He's going down. And here they punched the ball out, which is kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But actually, the horizon is straight, but that, that looks like a soccer goal they've pulled to the side that's not, that's very distracting the way it goes at an angle. Okay, another excellent football picture. Flawless. He's making the catch, the guy's on him. Very, very nice. Uh, again, good, uh, good, good action football picture. Um, you know, not much you do with this except crop it like this. I mean, the guy on the ground is, is pretty well meaningless. And then you have a picture for your GF crewers, you know, or your parents. This is nice. I don't know if this is a setup which I kind of feel it is or not, but it's, it's nice, it's good. He's up in the air, he's got the ball, everything. Clean background, clean background, very nice. And this is nice, this is excellent. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess she's just digging out the, the catch there. The foot's kind of cut off, but the, the light, the dust, everything. Um, Nice. It's nice. It looks nice. I, I maybe crop it a little bit on one side, but it's a good shot. And uh, with that, let's end it on that today. Um, keep the uh, images coming in. Again, no more than three. Uh, JPEGs attached to an email. Peter at PeterReedMiller.com. Um, and stay tuned. Uh, subscribe. You'll know when the next critique is coming up then. And uh, if you need anything, any video shot in the uh, Southern California area, come to Manhattan Beach Studios. Uh, and also I've got a GF crew workshop coming up in Myrtle Beach, uh, South Carolina, March 12th through 15th. Check that out on my website or gfcrew.com slash workshop. That's it for today. Thanks a lot. Good shooting. I want to thank my friends at GF crew for making this video possible. If you want to make money shooting action sports, check out GF Crew. Go to gfcrew.com to join. It's free. They have a whole process and an app set up to help you make money shooting sports. Check it out. Get started today.